Scorpio. What's popping? Subwater babies. What's going down? What's going on with the Scorpio between the 1st and the 15th of October, though? Hmm. Hmm. Which way you moving, though? Which way is you going? Scorpio, what you want? That is the question of the day. Well, the first half of the month. Because y'all going to pick a direction. Okay? So this will be for my sun, moon, rising, Venus, as well as the cross watchers for the sign of Scorpio. If this is your first time to my channel, hey, boo, hey, I'm Mocha. Also, if this is your first time to my channel, look, I may cuss a little, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. We family up in here. Positive vibes only. We don't do the negative shit. We don't fuss. We don't fight. We leave that shit on other people's channel because Mocha don't play that shit. Um, we love. We evolve. We grow. <laughs> Honestly, we share. We... Don't judge up in here. This is a judge, no judge, no flex zone. Okay, we don't do that. Um, it's a journey for us all. That's what makes us family, you know. And so with that, if don't nobody understand that, I know my Scorpios understand that because y'all live by that loyalty. Makes you family. Me too. It's the Mars in you. Maybe I'm an Aries, so. <laughs> but uh, it is what it is. So we rocking. So to all of my new subscribers, welcome to the family, baby. We're a little dysfunctional, but we do nothing but loving up in here. We cry sometimes. We get down, we cry. Because I don't mind crying. Because I'm like, what you see is what you get. I'm authentic. I'm transparent. And I don't hide shit from y'all because we family. All right? So we rocking. Um, Scorpio, this is not a personal. It's a general. If, it, if you do need a personal, that information can be found within the description below. All right? So we finna rock out. All right? So during this time... Spirit is really wanting to get through to you with your perception, how you view things. Some of y'all need to take the damn rose colored glasses off and just really see the situation for what it is, okay? So that you can remove any type of blocks, whether it's financial blocks, emotional uh, emotional blocks, spiritual blocks. Because a lot of y'all are very, very, very intuitive, but y'all not trusting yourself. Spirit is really pushing you all during this time to focus on healing. The mind, body, and spirit, but it starts with perception. When people show you who, you who they are, Scorpio, believe them. But it's more than one way of looking at things, okay? Sometimes in order to truly feel your way through this situation or through circumstances, it's to truly be able to see your side, they side, and really the truth and what the root of the issue is in between, okay? And that allows you to come up with positive as well as beneficial solutions that are fair for everyone involved so that you don't find yourself kind of going back and you know what seems like a roller coaster of a cycle okay just with different damn same shit different faces with the same spirit because that spirit needs to be conquered and persevered through for you to gain the understanding in order to move forward okay so i'm saying a lot of you all are worried about money stop you don't need nobody but yourself and god I'm going to say it again for the people in the back. <clears throat> Did you hear me in the back? <clears throat> you don't need nobody but yourself and God. Trust yourself and respect the God in you. That's first and foremost. Spirit really needed me to say that to y'all. Also, your thoughts. Watch your thoughts. A lot of y'all are literally manifesting at a fast rate. And you're seeing that through your love matters, okay? But however, also, if you look at it through a financial aspect, if you think lack, you feel lack, you speak lack, so there, so be it. If you think wealth, live wealth, speak wealth, receive wealth, you gain wealth. Therefore, you need to make the decision to choose positivity. That shifts your perception. That brings you total abundance. Okay? But your thoughts, your thoughts, my baby, it's a dark way of thinking and assuming negative situations and claiming them and thinking them like somebody coming to your life with love, okay? This person is curious. You want to look, you want to look in there. You want to look in this cup, get all up in this damn cup, okay? Because it lights your world up. However, your thoughts is here in the back of your mind that you're not communicating, you're keeping it to yourself. So if you think, oh shit, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you cool, everything cool now. But if you help me, you just gonna throw it back in my face. 
Oh, okay. Well, you must be acting funny because you ain't called me. You got to be doing something else because no. Your thoughts. No. See how I'm swords are pointing down, but they're pointing inward? A lot of y'all are in a mental damn asylum. Free yourself. Trust yourself. Do you trust yourself and feel your way through and shift your perspective and change your thoughts? Baby, you you's gonna be free, honey. Okay. Now, a lot of you guys are in relationships, possibly with an Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like if you've been dealing with this person, some of y'all been dealing with it for seven weeks, seven months, seven years. I feel like with this person, some of y'all don't even know if you want to put the damn work in or not. Some of y'all literally, you focus on your money as a distraction, but ultimately you desire. Okay. A deeper level of commitment. You desire fulfillment. Okay. So during this time, spirit is a lot of y'all are shifting cycles. And in shifting cycles, you got to be willing to let something die in order to invite something new. A lot of y'all, the spirit is telling me literally read this technically. A lot of y'all could be leaving a Taurus to move towards a Leo in love. Or this could be external to you. Happening. You're losing something, but you're looking only at the loss instead of what the fuck you what the fuck you gained. Okay, <clears throat> a lot of y'all, you showing up in your own reading. Some of you are dealing with other Scorpios, but I don't feel like this. A lot of you guys are going through a major transformation during this time. You're looking at things with the fixed mindset. You're looking at things from a fixed perspective, like you, as you're supposed to, as above, so below. Like a mid heaven point of view. You get what I'm saying? So with that said, as above, as you manifest things, as you see things being, okay, and what you create to be heaven in the mind, thought, word, action, your body, then you begin to act on that, and then you begin to be that. You understand? So you're really creating your own world. So with that said, for some of you all, you want to build with this Aquarius, too. Some of y'all want a very passionate about an Aquarius. This could also be a Leo. This Leo is everything you wish. This person is willing to compromise with you. This person wants to share. They want to build. However, because you've been in a relationship, possibly with someone for so long, where you feel like you would have to compromise yourself or be a certain type of way in order to make somebody else happy, baby. You really don't even know how to be accepting to this love. But some of y'all, this is with an Aquarius. Okay? And this could be the person, your person. Some of you all, some of you all are dealing with the earth sign. This person, they only offer, they offer you things financially because they don't really know how to open up emotionally to offer you that ace of cups, offer you that tangible beginning in love to bring to fruition. Okay? Some of you all who were dealing with someone for money, you mentally conflicted about, conflicted about moving on, even though intuitively you know, you know your heart is elsewhere. You know that's where you, you don't want to. You, you don't. You know that's where it's not meant for you to stay. However, you just give little, just the just enough. You know what I'm saying to the situation to keep things stable. But some of y'all are trusting your intuition, and some of y'all have. No, now no, you got two choices to make. You got two directions to walk. But some of you who have left someone or who will be leaving someone, because somebody's going to be leaving someone, I do see. But for some of you who are ending something and you're worried about financial matters, baby, just know you got that new job or you're going to get that new job or that financial blessing and an abundance. I keep, for some reason, I kept hearing, yes, and I keep hearing when, 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 when I kept doing y'all things so a lot of y'all are walking into the door of abundance baby in a financial way when it comes to love spirituality hone your gifts i keep hearing what everybody else gonna think if you have a spiritual ability many a call if you are chosen it's up to you to answer the call for some of y'all spirit is calling and y'all got your phone off the hook that needs to shift during this time Fuck what everybody else gonna say. 
They're going to talk about you rather you broke your ball and shit. They was talking about They're going to talk. People going to talk. It's people shit. That's what they do. Rise above the people shit. Don't hold on to earthly things. People, places, or things. None of that mother loving shit. <coughs> Excuse me, Scorpio. I'm over still getting over a sinus infection. I just make it look good. <laughs> but I will say, for some of you, you also have to choose between a Virgo and a water sign. Some of you all are just pulling away from love altogether. Or you're just giving just, just enough. But you internally conflicted instead of communicating it. And spirit wants you to transform that. Okay? Transform that. Shift all that shit. In order to, you can't expect something that from others that you're not giving yourself. You can't expect for others to communicate, keep it funky, keep it real with you all the time. You can't expect for others to openly communicate and you're not giving that. And you can't expect for somebody to give you that you're not, you're going to expect somebody to give you the truth and you ain't even being real with yourself. Some of y'all know, y'all don't even want to fucking be here. I feel like my money's stagnant when I'm dealing with you. This is for some. Earth sign for some of you. Capricorn towards Virgo for some of y'all. It's air. I feel like if you're dealing with a fire sign, I feel like you and this person are having, you're having this internal conflict about from this regarding this situation because there's communication is destined to happen. But somebody is not actually taking the action in order to move the relationship forward because for some of y'all, this is a soulmate or a twin flame for y'all. Some of you have a twin flame that is an uh, that is an Aquarius. Some of y'all is a Gemini. And I feel like you and this person needs to go into a new cycle, but first and foremost, thoughts needs to be shifted. Stop worrying about money. Some of y'all, you got a Leo. This Leo is literally, I feel like you, you, you're very passionate about this person, but I feel like you are not really giving your all to it because you kind of shifty on which way you want to go. And so you possibly pull back from this situation and this person is still offering, but they're not offering like they used to, even though this opportunity for you guys for something to materialize in a tangible way, it's here. But somebody, Scorpio, and they're telling me you are defensive. Let me tell you something. For some of y'all, it's definitely involving this fire sign. You're defensive. And spirit is finna shake some shit up. This person could walk away. And you love them with, with, with you re inside. You love them so much. It scares you how much you love them. Or vice versa. But they can walk away and just stop communicating for you to them out of fear. And you need to shift your perspective and your thoughts because for some of you it's a Taurus. For some of you all, this person actually wants the traditional things that you want. They want marriage. But some of you all, it's destined for marriage with this person and kids. But you're keeping them in the zone of comfort by being in this energy of just in and out. And if this is happening to you, Scorpio, what's going to happen is Scorpio going to choose their damn self. They're going to choose which way they want to go. And that way, for some of y'all, it's by your damn self. And you could this could have happened in September. But in doing so and making that move, quit worrying about money so the universe can bring it to you. Because it's here. You did it. You learned from it. You grew from it. You gained from it. Let that hurt go. Shift your thoughts. Everybody ain't the same. But you got to be real with yourself. Which way you want to go? Because one way going to put you here in your damn thoughts. And that damn ro and that cycle over and over and over, different, the same person, different face. In one way, you gonna love, baby. But some of y'all is with a Pisces or Cancer. I seen water. Pretty much everybody here, at Earth, fire. Everybody here, and water. But love. Some of y'all gonna gain abundance through love if you just be receiving and accepting and real with your damn self. 
Everybody ain't got no intentions just because they give it to you. Remember that. Mocha said, <laughs> remember that. <laughs> I feel real goofy today. I got to go live uh, with Cancer viewer, Cancer, Crosswatching, Aquarius, Pisces. Here I come, y'all. I was going live with y'all. Wi-Fi been acting really, really funky. Mocha had a sinus infection, and I'm still pushing through with giving these videos. Again, I told y'all make it look good. But if you know, if you watch my videos all the time, I'm pretty sure you hear the the extra. For those of you who are uh, very empathic and you can actually feel what what's bothering, pretty sure you feel. So just know I appreciate the love, your prayers. I receive it, I receive it, I receive it, and I return it back to you a hundredfold. Y'all wish y'all the best. I want y'all to win, 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 win. Much love, much light, much abundance. Many blessings and namaste. That's what I have for you guys between the 1st and 15th of October. If this resonates, please feel free to comment, share, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and get a reading. Love y'all, boo. Bye.